Hey Run Junkies, welcome back to my channel and back to Run Disney where I document my training from now up through uh, Marathon Weekend in January of 2022. Now wine and dine coming up and I'm ready for it because that is villains themed. I just got a whole bunch of t-shirts and I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, but today, this is kind of a special week. Uh, we're kind of coming up on World Mental Health Day and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as we go this week. So stick around, we're gonna have some fun. Okay, so I teased it a little bit last week and I wanna tell you what I got in the mail. I went through the Still I Run, a link in the description uh, group. They had a virtual medal, which was really, really cool. So this is the sticker that I got. And through Peaks and Valleys, Still I Run. I really like that sticker. Uh, I also ordered the special edition gooders that are really kind of, they're just a neat color, they're very similar to the Runners Without Limits color, um, the blue. But this, these are the new gooders. Runners for Mental Health Awareness. And I really like that. And they look, oh, and there's a medal, which I will earn later this week. I'll tell you more about that later, but this is the uh, virtual 5K medal. We'll do that later on. Then a whole bag of swag. Through peaks and valleys, still I run. And there's a lot of great stuff in here. Uh, uh, where's dirt? So this is a buff, which is perfect because it's gonna start getting uh, cool. I like the colors too. Kind of goes with everything I own. Then this is really cool. Uh, this is a collapsible cup for race day. So you can bring it with you. It collapses down. You can kind of, I think it actually like probably can hook onto your belt or something like that, but it does collapse down very easily. You put water in it and you're not wasting a cup and you have your own cup for water stops. That's awesome. There needs to be more of this going on. more noon. This is citrus fruit noon. I like this flavor a lot. Can't go wrong when you get noon. Uh, also momentum, just like my momentum. These are sparklets, uh, footnotes. So it says stay strong on those. Tinted Defense Moisturizer, it's uh, SPF 15. Always nice to have for your face. This is a lanyard for keys, for all kinds of stuff. Still I run. And then the last one, which is really kind of fun, aside from the bag, I'm keeping the bag. This insulated plastic cup, It's but it's rubber. This is called a Silly Pint, which I think is amazing. And like I said, I will do, the 5K, well, I'm actually gonna do seven miles later this week and I will do 5K as part of that. So today was a cross training day. I did Supernatural VR stuff that was really a lot of fun. It was like 80s power ballads, which was amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, so many memories, so awesome. Uh, and then I did uh, some strength work and I followed that up with some yoga. So that was a cross training day today. Tomorrow is a five mile run and a little bit of runner strength and yoga beyond that. So I will check in with you tomorrow. So the socials were down yesterday, Instagram and Facebook, which to me just kind of felt weird. So last week, in case you missed it, I did a self-imposed social media blackout. I turned everything off for 24 hours and honestly, it was probably the best thing I'd done for myself and my mental health in the last couple of months. So I, having done that last week and then having the socials go down this week, it was less, I don't know. I think if, if I hadn't taken that time last week to get away from socials, probably would have been a little bit more panic ridden. But I'm seeing now how social media can be so toxic. It doesn't have to be. I mean, here we are on YouTube, guys. I mean, it's, <laughs> it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out, but there is something to be said about too much of a good thing, right? So the social media blackout yesterday was definitely uh, eye-opening, I guess. Speaking of mental health,
It's okay. My neighbors are getting their backyard done. They just happen to have a jackhammer. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up. Another thing about this social media blackout thing, I'm in another one actually. Started yesterday around one o'clock and I shut down all socials and I will check back in later this afternoon. However, there are times where I just find myself reaching for my phone and like without even thinking about it, I open up Instagram and just start scrolling. And that is the thing. There's no presence there. There's no, I don't know what the word is. It's mindless. And it's not that I don't care what's on Instagram. It's not that I don't care what my friends are doing. It's that I'm not really engaged. And so what I'm hoping to accomplish by imposing these social media blackout days, self-imposed or otherwise, that when I do check in, I want it to be on purpose and I want it to be meaningful and engaging. So that's part of why I'm doing this. Another slight problem I'm having is that fall has arrived, autumn has arrived, the weather's cooler and I'm enjoying it immensely. However, I am not ready to give up my tank tops. I am not ready to give up my fun, my fun shirts and all of that great stuff. My winter clothing is boring. I'm gonna to need to remedy that. But uh, I'm enjoying the cooler weather. Actually, if she could, she'd do this all day. Hmm. Miko would not. The lighting down here is fantastic, which is why I have my big box lights when I shoot down here. Cross training day today, and I'm gonna start with some Supernatural on the Oculus along with some yoga. Um, a couple of things as I'm wrapping up the week here. This morning would be at the very latest the day I leave for Chicago Marathon. Okay, real quick history. I entered the lottery for the 2020 event. Obviously that didn't happen. I deferred to 2021. Um, earlier this year, I had decided that Chicago 21 was not going to happen. I just, I wasn't in the right headspace. I didn't want to, um, the idea of doing a marathon for time, um, that headspace had come and gone. So I'm letting it go. I, and every time I see information for me as an athlete, coming from Chicago Marathon, I'm, I breathe a sigh of, sigh of relief and I'm like, I am so glad I'm not doing that. It's just not the right time. It's just, it, it is not the right time for me to do something like this. Um, so I'm letting it go. An idea doesn't have to follow all the way through to its conclusion because the idea you have may be a good fit for you in that moment. But then later on that down the line, it isn't. 
and it's okay to let things go. And it's okay to decide not to show up in one place so you can show up in another place, okay? That is what I want to kind of convey here. It's not, it's not FOMO. As my friend Laura calls it, it's JOMO, joy of missing out. I'm going to my son's meet, one of his last meets, cross country meets today. I would much rather do that than go to Chicago right now. I would much rather be here in the fall and enjoying my dogs and being in the space, being with you guys, getting ready for wine and dine than I would be going to Chicago. I'm much, I'm much happier right here, right here. It is World Mental Health Awareness Weekend. Technically it's tomorrow, Sunday, 10th. Today is like Hartford Marathon in Baltimore and tomorrow is Chicago Marathon and Monday is Boston. It's a big weekend for racing. There's also the Steamboat Challenge, which is quite impressive. I mean, that one's an important race, you guys. So link above. Um, one thing that I did beginning of the week is show you this guy. I just finished 5K of my long run and uh, I earned this guy. Mental health matters. I'm a running warrior. Got my run streaker shirt or hat and I'm wearing green as the mental health awareness color. You look. Um, I could go on and on about this. The big thing is mental health is a big, big deal. It's complex. It's multifaceted. It means different things to different people. And I think it's just important to have the conversations over and over, repeatedly ad nauseum, until it's dealt with until it's accepted, and still it's no longer a stigma. So, still I run, link in the description. But if you did race this weekend or are about to, I wish you all the best. Enjoy the ride, have a great time, run hard. And I think that's gonna do it for me today, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, you have no limits. Please like and subscribe, tell your friends. We will see you next week. Until then, happy running.